news the U.S. drops off humanitarian aid to people living in Gaza that have been impacted by the war between Israel and Hamas. U.S. officials say about 38,000 meals were dropped off from three different U.S. aircrafts. More airdrops are expected to happen as ceasefire negotiations between Israel and Hamas continue. The United States Department of Defense released this video of one of the airships dropping off the supplies. U.N. agencies this week warned world leaders about the possible risk of food running out in Gaza. No word yet on when the next drop off will happen. Now, since the beginning of the war, communities all over the United States and here in Florida have seen an uptick in anti-Semitism. Now, Florida legislators are pushing for Governor Ron DeSantis to sign off on a bill that changes the definition of anti-Semitism. News for Jack's reporter Alicia Hatcher joins us live now in studio. Alicia, there is a strong chance that the governor will sign this bill. Scott, the bill passed unanimously in the House. Legislators say this new definition will help address the hate crime in Florida. As the war in Gaza continues between Israel and Hamas, Florida leaders are working to change the meaning of anti-Semitism. Just days before, a bill was unanimously passed in the Florida House on Thursday. If signed by Governor Ron DeSantis, the state will adopt the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance definition. The new definition would read in part, anti-Semitism is a certain perception of Jews, which may be expressed as hatred toward Jews. This all comes as the U.S. drops humanitarian supplies over Gaza for the first time since the start of the war. Many aid groups and pro-Palestinian leaders believe the U.S. should be doing more. Back in Jacksonville, a pro-Palestinian rally took place at City Hall. We spoke with a few people about their thoughts on the war. I am here because I am Palestinian American and I am here to protest um, the genocide of my people in Palestine. I think it's so sad what we're seeing. We have over 30,000 people dead. We have children starving to death as we speak. 10 babies died in Gaza due to malnutrition. We have the food to feed them. Let us please, just let us. Gaza is so small and they're bombing such a densely packed place and they keep moving them to even smaller and smaller locations. They're trying to wipe them out. This is not, this is not retaliation. This is a genocide. This is ethnic cleansing. According to U.S. officials, a framework deal for a ceasefire and the war has been accepted by Israel. Right now, both the U.S. and Israel are waiting on a response from Hamas. Alicia Hatcher, Channel 4, The Local Station.